It's going to be your first Army-Navy game. It is. You excited? I am. Couldn't be more excited. Uh, Coach Volker was saying that some of the coaches have been asking him about Army-Navy. What's it like? Have you been kind of trying to do some, get some, gather some intel on what to expect? Uh, we are. You know, everyone's been part of big games at, at one level or another, but the tradition of this and the pageantry and everything else is, you know, obviously something special, and we're looking forward to it as new coaches, first-time coaches, so we're fired up. Couldn't be more excited for it. What is your recollections of Army Navy? What's your first memory of watching this game on television or? Well, I've been watching football my whole life. I mean, I grew up in football, playing, coaching, everything. You know, grew up the son of a coach. So, you know, it's a special Saturday for everybody in the country, you know, whether you're an Army or Navy fan. Uh, yeah. So we're looking forward to it. You know, I've been looking forward to this my whole life. So I'm, I'm excited to see, you know, what the guys do. But I, so I take it you had never actually attended an Army-Navy game not, either, right? I have not. It's my first right. time. So. so your first time will be coaching in it. It will. What uh, I mean, I, I think Coach Newberry, I've asked about it because obviously there's a lot of first-year assistants, and his advice to you all is the same as what he's telling the players. That, you know, you know it's a uh, whatever he says, the game, explode game or whatever. Right? <laughs> Breathe, focus, explode. Right, but he says that applies to the coaches as well. Do you buy that? It does. You know, we have to stay locked in just like everyone else. You can't get too high or too low and keep your emotions intact. You know, everyone has to think clearly and don't make more of it than it really is. So coaches will be ready, players will be ready. You know, it'll be a good show. And you'll be in the uh, press box up doing the for the game, right? I will. We'll be glass cage up there. Right. Yeah. Does that kind of make things different than it's supposed to be on the field where you can really feel the environment? Uh, it, it does. In some ways, some ways it's worse, you know, because it's, it's just you, you know, seeing the game in slow motion, screaming at yourself. Um, but, it, you know, it's, it's definitely different than being on the field and hearing the crowd noise, you know, quite as intently. Coach Newberry has said that you really don't know what it's like to coach in this game until you do coach in this game. And it's even at the end, win or lose, the feelings are just, it's an overwhelming, both positive or negative, whatever it ends up being. Have you, you know, how do you prepare yourself for that? He's probably right. <laughs> you know, we'll find out on Saturday. But, you know, we, I think, you know, I've coached for a long time, been in a lot of big games. So, you know, it's just a matter of, you know, controlling your emotions and making sure, you, you know, you're clear-minded, you know, when the situation comes. What would you say was the, the biggest rivalry you've been part of before this? I don't want to disrespect anybody, but uh, probably my first one at least, I, I was a graduate assistant at Michigan State, and Michigan, Michigan, Michigan State's, a, right. you know, is bigger for Michigan State. But, you know. <laughs> What, um, your dad, uh, as long as he's been there, has he ever been to an Army-Navy game? And I know you told him that the uh, last, the previous years he came to your games, you all lost, but is he going to be allowed to go to this game? He is not. He is not? He is allowed. not. <laughs> he is not. He asked? I didn't, he knows better. He knows better. Right, this is a game we need to win. I don't need him there, you know, jinxing us. All right, so. thanks a lot, Coach. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, yeah. how long have you been looking forward to this thing? Oh, <laughs> since the day Coach Newberry called me about this job. I've been to two of them. You have, and uh, and this is this is feels kind of surreal that it's coming up to me being on the sidelines. So, what I'm were very, the two games you went to? Do you remember the uh, years? Not 19 and 20. No, 17 and 19. What led you to go to those two games by chance? <sighs> just you know, I, I knew Coach Ingram, and just I had a couple buddies. My college roommate, who's now the athletic director at East Carolina, okay. uh, he and I went to one of them, and a good friend of mine who, who lives in Houston, Texas, uh, a Sewanee grad, mm -hmm. which is where I coached, and, and he and I got together one weekend and, and uh, talked about it, and I, let's do it. So Were they both in Philly, those games? Yes, mm -hmm. okay. I, I believe so. So do you yep. think that experience helps you prepare for this? I mean, you have actually been in the, the stadium, you know sure. the atmosphere. Well, it certainly doesn't hurt. Um, I learned a lot from just sitting there mm -hmm. and being close to the action. I, w I wasn't I wasn't up the nobly. I was down there low, so mm -hmm. you got to experience a lot of it, you know. So obviously it's going to be different on the sideline. So and that's and, where you'll be on the sideline. For yes, the sir. Yes, sir. So Coach Newberry has said that you really don't know what it's like to coach in this game until you do coach in this game. And he, you know, apparently a lot yeah. of the coaches have been asking. Some of those, you know, the new coach has been asking, what's it like, what to expect. Yeah. You obviously know a little bit more a since little. you've been to a game, but do you feel like it's going to probably be unique when you actually coach in the game? Well, there's no doubt about it. I can already sense that being around the players this week. They've, they're all acting a little more giddy, if you will. Mm -hmm. And uh, I told Alex yesterday in practice, I said, calm down. <laughs> they're just, they're very excited. So I, I can see that.
So, I mean, do you feel like it's a tremendous honor to be part of this rivalry? I mean, no it's doubt. One, I mean, like you said, going to the game is one thing, but now you're actually a, this, you can say that you were part of the Army Navy. No rivalry. doubt, no doubt. I've gotten more phone calls in the past couple months than from coaching colleagues, family members wanting tickets, and friends I haven't talked to in over a year wanting tickets. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> I mean, the emotion afterwards, win or lose, is is overwhelming. You, if you win, you're just you're, the euphoria is incredible. If you lose, the you know despair is incredible. Uh, yeah, sure. Have you thought about? It? And I guess you probably won't really real understand what it's like until you get to that moment, right? Correct. And I'm trying not to think about it. And I really don't care about that for me, personally. I want these kids to experience winning this game because I know from the short time I've been here, how important this game is to them. Right. I mean, I, they talk about it all the time. And I, being in practice this week and last week is just, it's defining. Right. Defining moment. We're here with Navy Assistant John Williams. You have experienced Army-Navy rivalry because your son Cole has been a member of the team, so I'm going to presume you've been to a couple Army-Navy games, have you not? I have. I've been to 21 and 20. Uh, or excuse me, 21, 22, mm -hmm. and uh, of course we couldn't go to 20 uh, because of the COVID. But right. uh, but yeah, I've been there as a fan. Uh, it's going to be a totally uh, different feeling uh, uh, being on the field and being a part of uh, of winning this game. So I'm fired up, excited about it. How much uh, are you looking forward to the experience of actually coaching in the game? Uh, immensely. Uh, you know, it, as a coach. I think uh, this game for every coach in America is a bucket list to watch. Mm -hmm. uh, but to actually get to coach in this game is super special. And, uh, you know, so I, as I said, day one here, um, so fortunate, blessed to be here, to be a part of this, and to be a part of this game um, is an unbelievable feeling. The two previous games that you attended, do you feel that that at least gives you a little head start on some of the other coaches like Eric Lewis, who I just spoke to, who's never been to the Army-Navy games, only watched it on television. Do you think that gives you a little bit of better understanding? Yeah, I think it does. Uh, I think it does. You know, the pageantry um, that goes along with the game is is somewhat left out for coaches. We're in the locker room getting mm -hmm. ready to take the field while all the pageantry is going on. So I'm glad to have been able to experience that as a, as a fan mm -hmm. and as a parent. Um, but uh, but uh, once we tee it up, it's going to be just another game um, that you're trying to win. And uh, I think uh, a lot of the uh, a lot of the the, the noise surrounding the game kind of goes away, so to speak. And uh, feels still 100 100 yards long, right? And uh, it's the same width. It's 11 dudes on the field trying to get after each other. Now, um, I think the level of uh, of effort and intensity is magnified in this game. I mean, you've got the best and, and bright, uh, the best and brightest from this country um, laying it all on the line. So uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to see our kids play more than anything, um, uh, just to see them turn it loose. So your son has played in the game. What has he articulated to you what it was like to play in the game? Loud, uh, which uh, which I know it'll definitely be loud, but uh, just, you know, the, the, the special piece of it, you know, um, um, immense competitors on the field um, during the game for those 60 minutes. Um, and after the game, I'm not going to say uh, it's brotherly love, but there's a mutual respect sure. um, for, for both sides. Um, so, um, you know, that's the thing that he has articulated to me was just the, the level of respect and the level of intensity um, from both sides. So, um, man, like I said, we're excited and uh, just excited to see our kids play and, and, uh, and get after it. How much does your heart break for your son not being able to play in this game as a senior? Terribly, you know, terribly. As a parent, you, you, you see everything that goes on behind closed doors. Um, and going back, you know, through, through my son's career, um, started out early and won a job, lost a job, had to fight, scratch and claw to get back in. So I remember those long nights and those talks and mm -hmm. those motivational speeches and all the hard work that's gone into it. And, um, you know, for him to, 
to uh, miss out on, on this opportunity and, and the others that he missed out on through the year has been tough as a parent. I think he's probably handled it better than me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, uh, but uh, you know, s- super excited for him and his future. Um, he's kind of accepted it, you know, and, um, and, uh, and kind of gotten refocused on life after football. And he's super excited to be a Marine. And uh, we're excited for him, but uh, surely do wish that, uh, that we could finish this together.